But let's get started with the breakdown, uh, the ask. So the prompt that I'm going to mainly be using to like talk about this process is design, design an experience for students, uh, professors, and members of the school community to reserve space at the library. And you know what? Okay, great. So that's basically like the framework that I, I literally use for like every time I feel overwhelmed. So basically the way to break down a problem, especially that prompt specifically. So at the beginning, you need to ask yourself, what are they asking me to do? Like, so then the goal. Um, so if you think about at a more meta level of like what that is, it's really like, what is the world that I'm trying to create from this solution? Like, what are they asking for me? Like, what is the desired output and, and, and outcome? Then after that, it's really about the audience. So it's like, who, who am I trying to change the life of? Um, like, who are the people that I'm trying to affect? Um, and then location. So it's like, where is this problem experienced? Um, the, what part of the world am I trying to impact with, um, with this solution? Um, and then the impact. It's like, why does this, like, what is the state of the world matter? It's like, why am I doing what I'm about to be doing? I'm going to spend a lot of time doing that. So like, why should I do it? Um, and then the request. Um, so basically, what's a deliverable? Where is my solution going to live in? Um, if let's say I'm consulting, uh, I'm consulting a client. Um, do they want a deck? Do they want a prototype? Do they want a, a fully fledged UI? Like what? What do they want? Um, and then the last one is when is that going to be deployed? Because if you think about it, um, design is kind of this very weird discipline where you're trying to design something for the future, analyzing data from the past to give you insights on the present, which is kind of messed up if you think about it, because you might be like, let's say I give you the problem, like, inc like improve the sense of belonging in, in Toronto, right? You might do research from the past 10 years to understand today, but then the solution is going to be deployed in 10 years. And that will require a different set of tools. That's why considering time is very important. Uh, so in terms of the problem that I gave you, so if you look at the goal, the goal is literally what is stated, an experience to reserve like work space, work desks, spaces in the library. It's simple. Like you don't, you don't even need to overthink it. There, it's a given. Um, the audience, they're also giving it to you. So easy. It's students, professors, and members of the school committee. Oh my God. That, it's, it's, kind of, it's not hard. So then you see, it's, it's pretty simple if you think about it and like location. Um, and that's when things get a little messy, right? Location, the only thing that they're giving you is um, work desk spaces and in the library, which is like, but then like, that's kind of broad because there's a lot of libraries in the world. And what type of library is that? Is it like municipal libraries? Is it national libraries? Is it school libraries? Is it like, so then for the sake, so then for the sake of scoping, I just narrow it down to UCB, uh, UCSBs. Um, UCSB's library, just because it, it gives uh, it gives a it gives a better frame, right? Um, and the thing too is that you're not like sometimes the prompt might be like um, increase conversion, and it's like okay, but how how do I do that? But the thing is that if you're breaking out with the exact same framework, you'll realize that you have a lot of unknowns, and your goal is actually to go figure that out. Um, so then if you look at the impact for that problem, it's like, what are the unknown? Um, so that the unknown is, oh, so impact, the, it's unknown, right? Because they're not telling me what problem I'm trying to solve and why am I even doing this? The assumption might be to prevent the spread of COVID because people are going back to school. I'm actually not sure, right? Uh, but that's also something that we're going to figure that out after. And then the request, I'll just assume that it's a web app. And then the time, let's just say that it's a design challenge. So it's, so I just have, I just have seven days and all they're asking you to do is uh, a deck presenting the solution, for example. Um, and then, you know, now, now you feel good. You know, you, you went from this very complicated problem and right now, you know, like you, you kind of feel confident. So like at the beginning you were like, you were like laying down on your couch or your bed crying. And right now you're, you're, you're Beyonce. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>